Hey guys, I'm here to talk to you a little bit about sheep hunting. Sheep hunting is, you know, the pinnacle of North American big game hunting. A lot of guys will tell you that. I'm one of those guys that believes that. Uh, why, why is sheep hunting so awesome? I think for me, you know, it's where they live, right? I mean, they live in some wicked country and, you know, just the experience of getting into sheep country is fun and exciting. You know, it's survival on the mountain. You know, I think sheep hunting uh, is on the back of a lot of guys' minds. Um, maybe guys that are, you know, hardcore whitetail and mule deer and elk hunters, and you know, they think to themselves, "Gosh, you know, I should be applying for these sheep tags." But you know, it's such a it's such a different species. Most people have never seen a wild sheep. They don't live in sheep country. Everybody has seen a whitetail. Most people have seen a mule deer. So sheep sometimes get missed. Not because guys don't want to hunt them, they do want to hunt them. They're just intimidated by the process or they think it's out of reach or out of touch. What you need to do if you want to get into the sheep game and you haven't yet is you need to call a tags consultant at WTA and he can walk you through the different options for the different species of sheep in North America. The grand slam of sheep hunting, as I'm sure most of you know, is the dull sheep, the stone sheep. Those are your two thin horns. And then you have your two big horns, the rocky and the desert. You know, the dull sheep in Alaska, Yukon, Northwest Territories, that's probably a hunt, you know, you're gonna just have to book and bite the bullet. You know, those hunts are gonna come in at you know, probably closer to $30,000 these days. Jason Berger and his crew, I mean, they can tell you where to go. They can explain the camps, you know, what it's like, you know, what the charter service looks like, what it, you know, what you can expect. Is it a backpack hunt where you're eating mountain house? Do they have bigger wall tents in that you take the horses to? Um, you know, they can explain to you, you know, what kind of doll hunt you'd be getting into. Same with stones, right? Stones are either going to be backpack or horseback. British Columbia, Northern British Columbia is some of the most beautiful country you'll ever be in in your life, okay? It's a game rich area, you know, you're going to see grizzlies probably, you're probably going to see big Canadian moose, um, mountain goats, and, and, you know, of course the stone sheep is, to me, maybe the greatest trophy uh, in North American big game. Uh, the desert sheep, you're gonna go down into Old Mexico and you're gonna hunt in the province of, in the state of Sonora. Um, it's, a, it's a very high success hunt on big sheep, right? The chance of taking a book, I think book is 168 or 169 on a, sto on a desert. Our company has outfitters in place where sheep like that, I don't wanna say they're common, but it's definitely something that could, could happen on that hunt. There's still a lot of book deserts around there and we know the outfitters to get it done. The Rocky Mountain Bighorn, this is a tough one, right? You can go Cali hunting, California Bighorn and sheep hunting is gonna be the easiest way to get your Rocky for your slam. A Cali and a Rocky in the Grand Slam are the same thing, right? So, you know, California Bighorns, not a lot of tags out there, super expensive, super high quality, big sheep, right? Rocky Mountain Bighorn, you're looking at about half the price at 40,000. Now, again, remember that when we talk about sheep, you know, we're talking about really expensive, high price tag hunts. Um, however, if you utilize the services of WTA tags and start applying, the big horns can be drawn, right? You can draw a Rocky Mountain Bighorn sheep tag. You can draw a Desert Bighorn sheep tag. If it happens, right, I can tell you this, it's not gonna happen if you don't apply, but if you do apply and you end up drawing a tag, you know, you can go DIY, it's all public land for the most part. Or what I would recommend is hiring an outfitter, right? An outfitted hunt for either either one of the big horns is gonna cost you roughly seven, no more than 10 grand, right? So average, you're probably looking at 8,500. Book, find the money, whatever, book the hunt. These guys, these outfitters that are out there, you're never gonna draw this tag again, statistically, right? Just the fact that you drew it, period, is statistically unbelievable. So when you do draw a tag like that, hire an outfitter, it'll be well worth it. And I hope that we can help you draw these great tags too. I mean, that's what we're here, that's what we're all about. So, you know, call us and we'll get you put in for sheep in the right places in the West. The right places meaning I have clients that are like, if there's a non-resident sheep tag, put me in for it. And I have other clients, most clients are like, just put me in the areas that make sense, right? If there's only one tag in Texas at one in, 3,000 odds, I don't want to put in for it, right? When Nevada's got 30, you know, three non-resident desert sheep tags and the odds are infinitely better. So that's what my team can help you out with and uh, give them a call and and uh, let's get up into the, the Alpine and chase sheep and goats and it, uh, they're the best hunts in North America.